my dear students let us try to learn about aids and hiv this comes under principles of biological sciences which is a multidisciplinary course aids is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome it is caused by human immunovirus hiv is a retrovirus this is the image of human immunovirus HIV is a retrovirus retrovirus means this contains RNA as genetic material AIDS is an immunodeficiency disorder AIDS was first reported in 1981 by Center for Disease Control United States genetic material is SS RNA SS RNA means single stranded RNA here you can find this ssrna two characteristic enzymes namely integrase and reverse transcriptase are present in hiv virus this virus attacks t lymphocytes gp41 and gp120 are the specific glycoproteins present on the outer lipid layer here you can see the outer lipid layer here you can see this gp41 and gp120 protein and as i already mentioned hiv attacks t lymphocytes especially cd4 cells in t cells hiv forms a dna strand that is complementary to the viral dna this is called reverse transcription you know that hiv virus contains rna from this rna dna strand is prepared and this dna strand is complementary to the viral rna this formation is catalyzed by the enzyme reverse transcriptase that means this reverse transcription is catalyzed by reverse transcriptase enzyme this viral dna thus formed is integrated into the host dna by the enzyme integrase that means the function of integrase is to integrate the viral dna which is complementary to the rna into the host dna now the pro virus is formed and the virus acquires mastery over host genetic material as a result each cell in the host body will act like a hiv factory which produces the proteins required for the hiv virus now let us see how aids is spread it is spread through unsafe sex unprotected sex and sex with multiple partners unsafe transfusion of blood from unknown persons drugs because normally the persons who are addicted to drugs may use needles on the rotation basis so they are more prone to this hiv infection tattooing and semen blood breast milk they have got potential to spread hiv symptoms and diagnosis fever cough weight loss repeated infections cancer of kaposis and tuberculosis these are the normal symptoms and it can be tested or diagnosed diagnosed by certain tests that means the diagnosis tests are rydot test coombs test elisa and western blot western blot is the confirmatory test for aids coming to the treatment there is no cure but uh, treatment is available zidovudine nevirapine are used in the anti retroviral therapy and remember there is no vaccine for hiv 
ABC is the best method to prevent the spread of AIDS. A. Abstinence. B. Being faithful to the sexual partner. C. Use of condoms. And the NACO, National AIDS Control Organization, is creating awareness regarding HIV. This is about HIV and AIDS. Thank you very much.